Okay, we're gonna do a uh, little quick tutorial on how to add Windows VPN tunneling to your Ubuntu uh, setup. So, the first things we need to know is the IP addresses of our own home PC. We have internet, we need to have the destination or gateway address and we need to have a destination server of which you want to reach through the VPN tunnel. So first things first, um, I'll show you in the GUI how it's done and it's pretty easy. So let's open it, right click on the network bar in the top and go edit connections. Then you have VPN and you click add. Now you get the wizard so you can just do point to point tunneling, create. The gateway address is the public IP address, so 86.123.123.55. It's a fake uh, IP address, so you can try it at home, won't work. Username, so your own username that you got from your company or the one that you set up. So let's say it's uh, Anthony at mycomp.ae or it can be just Anthony and then you would be mycomp.e as a domain so we put it in there add a password and then click on advanced so there are a lot of authentication methods it's going to be Microsoft authentication so just disable the PAP and CHAP it's okay then the IPv4 settings go to the routes. So this is pretty important because in Windows the routes are automatically added and Linux you need to add them manually. But you only have to do it once. So click add. Now the destination that you want to reach is gonna be a work PC. So let's say 10, 10, 1, 1 would be your destination. So you want to add in 10, 10, one zero a net mask of two five five two five five two five five zero well the gateway would be the the internal router IP address you can leave it empty often that will work as well but in this case I know it so it's gonna be 250 and the metric is one and then you're done you click on OK and if you look back the routes have been added and then when you click up apply you have your VPN connection in here and it's sorted. There's a connection when it's done you have it added and you want to start using it right click or uh, double click on it and then go to the bottom VPN connections and select the VPN connection one. So when you click on that you will see it will start connecting and when it's done connecting you will see that the VPN is active. So now I'm going to check it out. My destination would be 10 10 1 1. So I can try to see if I can remote desktop to this IP address. And voila, here we go. Windows Server. So that works. And as well, if you want to see how it, the route goes, just type in MTR for my trace route and you see it goes via the gateway into the server itself. There must be other servers in the network, so let's see this one, oh, which is no problem. And that's all you need to do. You might want to verify your routing by typing route minus N. And you can see the PPP0, that's your tunnel. And this is the, the route it will take. That's all.